Hey there, it's Hillary of Creative Faith. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have my 2020 bullet journal setup video for you guys. And I'm really excited to show you how I'm gonna be using this bullet journal to plan in 2020. Now, 2019 was my first year using a bullet journal. It is chunky and I am like, so sad <laughs> that I am almost done using this. It has been just such an awesome project, an awesome planner for me in 2019, and I will have a 2019 bullet journal flip through coming to my channel in January, um, but I'm not filming it yet because it's still 2019. <laughs> So stay tuned for that. Leave me a comment down below if you're excited to see my flip through this one. Um, I do have a whole bullet journal playlist on my YouTube channel that I'll link down below as well as a mid-year bullet journal flip through of this one. So for 2019, I used my bullet journal for everything. I did my weekly setups. I had collections and um, like uh, things I was tracking in here. So I used this for my whole planner and I really, really loved it. Um, now for 2020, I am getting married, which is super exciting. I'm getting married in February, but I just know that I'm not going to have as much time as I had in 2019 to bullet journal and plan. So I am actually going to be using this planner as my like weekly planner for the new year and it has pages that look like this and so this is what I'm going to be using as my weekly planner in 2020. I have a setup video that I'll link in the description box below for how I set this up. So this is what I'm going to be using for to-do lists and weekly tasks um, and events errands I need to run, etc. to-do lists. But I am still going to be using a bullet journal and I will show you guys what I'm going to be using it for and how I have it all set up. So this is a Clever Fox bullet journal, dot grid journal, and so it has some gray dot grid and I will link this on Amazon and I covered up the front using this really cute sticker from Heart by Cece and I'll link her at or her website down below if you guys want to check out her stickers. I love her stickers so 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 much and I love this one for 2020. I find joy in every single day not because life is always good but God but because God is. Yes and amen. So that is how I decorated the cover. And so what I am doing in here is the front, I have like monthly, I have a few like yearly things I have set up and then month stuff and then in the back I have collections. So I will show you guys that. So how I set up the inside, I have a pocket from the Planner Society. The Planner Society is a really awesome shop and they have different planner accessories. So definitely check them out. And I have, this is a little card from them that says enjoy today. And I have sticky notes on the back. I use sticky notes a ton when I am planning. I, let's see if I can find it. So this is how I set up my bullet journal as I went through this one and I pulled out things that I wanted to track and include in here. And so I wrote them out on sticky notes and kind of use that to help arrange. Then I have just a really sweet collection of inspiring stickers here in the front. Um, this is another one from Heart by Cece. It says, let the story of my life touch the hearts of others. I just thought that was a really good thing to remember this year. This one is from Neely's photo and I will link her Etsy shop down below in the description box. And I love that faith can move mountains and it has like holographic, which is so cool. And then this one, my friend Josie of Gospel Confetti um, sent me and she made it and says, you cheer my soul with this beautiful image of a hand with these hearts flying up. And I just am so in love with that. So next, and I actually have a review of this um, Clever Fox dotted notebook, and I will link that in the description box below too. 
So it has this kind of opening page, which I'm not sure what I'll, I'll do with. Maybe I'll add a quote there or something. And this is Hello 2020. And I actually used this stamp that I made. So there's a store, I think it's called Zazzle. And it, these stamps make your own stamps for 50% off. And so I had one made with my logo and one made using one of my favorite images from Seasons of Prayer Spring, this really pretty peony, which is my favorite flower. And so I used that to make the background of this page and I love, love, love how it turned out. And then I typed up um, this Bible verse and printed it on clear sticker paper and it's Revelation 21 5 it says and he who is seated on the throne said behold I am making all things new also he said write this down for these words are trustworthy and true and so I loved how it said I'm making all things new as we think about the new year God makes things new especially there's a totally new season in my life coming and um, then I also love how he said write this down and I know God's not talking to us he's talking to John in this section of scripture but I think it's important for us to also write down and document what God teaches us in our lives Next, I have a vision board, and this is something I've done over the past couple years, and I just go onto Pinterest, and I find kind of images of things that I want to represent my year, and so I'm getting married, and I'm hopefully traveling somewhere maybe with my sweet fiance, getting deeper in God's word, planning a um, new chapter, adventure hoping to just do more here on youtube and my two words of the year are joy and sacrifice which you can see here and i am going to write out kind of some definitions and focuses for bible verses probably too for here and on this side i'm probably going to put another some sort of quote or bible verse and then I have goals. So what I did was I thought of a bunch of different categories that I wanted to set goals for 2020. And so I have my relationship with my fiance and soon to be husband, fitness, finances, rest, mental, personal, food, creative faith, job, home, spiritual, friends, family, fun, recreation. And so if you guys want to see a video about how I'm going to go about goal setting, please leave me a comment down below. And um, if there's enough kind of interest, maybe I will film it. But kind of my thought was each topic will I'll write up here and I will assign a color. And then I can go into, um, I have a planner called the Crazy Goals Planner. And I actually have a review video about that that I'll link down below in the description box but and then I can take these goals and help like break down tasks and um, assignments in either my happy planner or my goals planner but I you guys want to see my goals from 2019 <laughs> I just never filled them out say prayer set goals work hard here's my goals for the year <laughs> So I definitely want to be more intentional about setting goals in 2020. So I at least have this set up and I have some ideas and thoughts for these different goals. So again, leave me a comment down below if you want to see a YouTube video specifically about how I am setting up these pages and making my goals for the year. Next, I have a future log. This is what I did here in my bullet journal and I use these pages so so much and it's really cool to kind of look back and see what my months were not were like and which months were crazier and so even though I'm going to be documenting my events and stuff in here I thought it would be neat to still have a future log in here I set it up the exact same way I loved how I set it up and so I just write out the day and what the activity is so this is a really awesome future log and something that I really utilized a lot and plan to again in 2020. Next, I thought it'd be really fun to do a highlight of the year. So each month have a different highlight. And so I could either print a picture to put in here or I could make like a little word collage of different activities and things that happened. 
So that's highlights of the year. And so now we are into January. And so I have a bullet journal habit tracker planner printable in my Etsy shop that I'll link in the description box below. And so that's what I used. I have these really awesome scripted months. And so I blew it up and printed it on clear sticker paper. And then I used some washi tape and some happy planner stickers to do this spread. And I'll probably maybe write a Bible verse down here too, but I haven't gotten around to doing that quite yet. And so for my months, I want to, some of my favorite pages in here for the months were these kind of like scrapbooky pages where I put um, different activities that I did, little ticket stubs or event happenings, things like that. There are a lot in here. <laughs> And so I wanted to do that again, and there's just not room for me to do that in my happy planner. So I want to do that in here. And then I wanted to have a spot for prayer requests, and then currently. So like currently watching, reading, wearing, loving, eating, drinking, seeing, um, doing. And so that's kind of like a little overview of the month. And so then I can add more. So like if there's a certain other spread I want to do in January that's not like a weekly setup or a to-do list, I can add it here. So then I'll go into February, March, etc. So then now in the back of my bullet journal, this is where I have my collections and the different things I'm tracking and whatnot. And so this way they will meet in the middle. And I wish I would have done that in my other, in my 2019 bullet journal, but I think this is going to be awesome anyways. So I can continue to add more collections here. I am, one thing I'm a little bit worried about with this is running out of room. So I do have to be just kind of conscientious of what collections and things I want to track. So the first one I have in here is Tombow swatches. This is something that most of these I have in my old one. And so I love kind of seeing like what Tombow markers I have, Tombow brush markers. Two of my favorite sets are Galaxy and Secondary. And if I can find those on Amazon, I'll link them down below. I love using Tombow markers in my bullet journal and in my Bible journaling. And so they're just a really fun marker to have. And so I always forget which ones I have. So this is nice if I'm like at Michael's or an art store and I want to get a new one. This way I kind of have reference to what I actually already own. Next over here I have a period tracker. This is a different setup than I have in 2019. In 2019 I did like a bar with a dots. And so I guess that works out okay but I just wanted something that was a little easier to fill in and so I will fill it in this way it has 1 through 31 and then the months over here and I can even have like different gradients depending on like what my period was like then over here I have credit card monthly totals in my old bullet journal for 2019 I was trying to do some like um tracking with weekly and daily spending and it just wasn't working out and um, it's a lot to keep up with and so what I started doing instead was doing monthly totals because I pretty much only use my credit card to, to buy everything and I pay it off each and every month and so that was kind of a neat an easier way for me to see like am I spending too much or not and so that's what I'm going to do in here and then I wrote this little bible verse keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have as a reminder to really watch my spending next this is a really neat idea that I found from watching a youtube video from 17 magazine I used a that same um, creative face stamp here and I have different categories for my business. So I'm hoping to do another team, creative team soon. Um, and so kind of document that here. I have another section last year for 2019. This was collaborations. And I don't do a ton of those. And so I thought this way I could put kind of miscellaneous things in here. This one for YouTube video ideas. And this for kit ideas. And so I really love how this looks and it's just a great use of space for me to do brainstorming about my business. 
Next, I have happy mail addresses. I don't know why, but for some reason, it's way easier for me to jot down addresses of friends and family in here versus an address book. <laughs> so, or I'll write them here and then transfer them into my address book because I take this more on the go with me than an address book. I also love tracking creative faith social media. This is something that I used to do in 2018. I did it online and I would just forget and it would be kind of hard for me to remember to write it down. So each at the beginning of each month, I write out my stats for how many followers and likes and Etsy sales and stuff like that. So that's just a neat way for me to see how I God is growing creative faith. Next, I have songs to download, and so this, I saw this idea online to draw like an iPad or iPad with the headphones, and so I'll write down songs that I want to download or buy here on, so that way I like, if I screenshot it or um, see someone post it on Instagram, I can write it out here. This is a new spread for me for 2020. I thought it'd be fun to document like my favorite songs each month of the year. This is another new spread, favorite bullet journal supplies. I was thinking specifically pens, like I could draw out little pictures of pens or write out different supplies that people, I see people use online. So this is a new spread for me. And then over here, a bull bullet journal spread ideas. So um, collections are things that I want to add to the back here. This is another spread that I used in 2019 and I document the books that I read and then the books I want to read. So here I'll write number, um, so the number of books I read each year, and the date I finish, the title, and a five star, one two, through five star rating. And over here, these are books that I own that I want to read. And then these are books that I want to buy or purchase or rent. Check out from the library. Next, I have my YouTube filming schedule. And so this is one of the really big things that I used a ton in my bullet journal for 20. 19 and so it's just a system that works really well for me. I write out Chris or I write out video ideas on sticky notes and then that way I can move them around. And this is just a system that worked so so well for me in 2019 and then once they're like done and posted, I glue them in and so F is filmed, E is edited and S is scheduled. And so um you guys can kind of see how that works and I don't know I just this is a really great system for me and so right now I'm still planning um, to post twice a week every Tuesday and Saturday and ideally I mean it'd be great if I posted more but <laughs> I just don't always have the time and oh I need to fix this with whiteout let's see if I have some right now it's gonna bother me so anyways I have January and February's all set up and you can see I already have some things down here and so if I wanted to like oh I actually want to move this to here that's something really easy for me to do and so then as I film them and edit them and then schedule them on YouTube I can mark them off so I have January and February set up and then I have them um, sticky noted out through December. And then I have a YouTube ideas page. So these are ideas that I have been thinking about but haven't done yet. And then I have a pen test page. And that's it. So I have my, all my sticky notes. <laughs> and then the back comes with a little pocket. So that is my 2020 bullet journal setup video so it's gonna look a little bit different than my bullet journal for 2019 obviously but that's the cool thing about bullet journals is that you can make them totally work for you so let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions are you using a bullet journal for 2020 or what kind of planner are you planning on using 
I would love to hear that in the comments below and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any creative faith videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description box below. Bye!